In this video, we will discuss about HTTP and HTTPS. The transfer protocol is the set of rules that the computer used to move files from one computer to another on the internet. The most common transfer protocol used on the internet is the hypertext transfer protocol. Two other protocols that we can use on the internet are the file transfer protocol and the telnet protocol. The hypertext transfer protocol is the foundation of the world wide web and is used to load web pages using hypertext links. HTTP is an application layer protocol designed to transfer information between network devices and runs on top of other layer of the network protocol stack. A typical flow over HTTP involves a client machine making a request to a server which then sends a response message. HTTP, this part of the address indicates that it is a web page. Also it indicates the protocol or type of server. The two most common alternatives are most likely remote procedure calls and message queuing. RPCs are conceptually closer to HTTP in operation. HTTP request and response. A client that is a browser sends an HTTP request to the web. An web server receives the request. The server runs an application to process the request. The server returns an HTTP response that is output to the browser. The client that is the browser receives the response. A common HTTP request issued by a browser is this and a common response from a HTTP server is this. This is the file content as we can see the browser perform a get request which means read and retrieve over the file some text file.txt using the HTTP protocol version 1.0. Then the server replied back with status 2000 which means the resources that is something.txt was found and is being delivered to you. It say also content type of the file and after the protocol headers it sends back the file content which length is 24 bytes. We can count the characters. HTTPS that is a hypertext transfer protocol secure is a protocol which uses HTTP on a connection encrypted by transport layer security. HTTPS is a used to protect transmitted data from eavesdropping. It is the default protocol for conducting financial transaction on the web and can protect a website's users from censorship by a government or an ISP. HTTPS established an encrypted link between the browser and the web server using the secure socket layer that is SSL or transport layer security or TLS protocols. TLS is the new version of SSL. Advantages of HTTPS HTTPS makes a secure connection by establishing an encrypted link between the browser and the server or any two system. HTTP provides a data integrity by encrypting the data and so even if hackers manage to trap the data they cannot read or modify it. HTTP protects the privacy and security of website users by preventing hackers to passively listen to communication between the browser and the server. HTTP increases the speed of the data transfer compared to HTTP by encrypting and reducing the size of the data. Use of HTTP increases SEO ranking. In Google Chrome, Google shows the not secure level in the browser if user's data is collected over HTTP. HTTP represents the future of the web by making internet safe for users and website owners. SSL that is secure socket layer. SSL is the standard security technology for establishing an encrypted link between the two systems. These can be browser to server, server to server or client to server. Basically, SSL ensures that the data transfer between the two systems remains encrypted and private. The HTTPS is essentially HTTP over SSL. SSL establishes an encrypted link using an SSL certificate which is also known as digital certificate. Now the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. 
HTTP is hypertext transfer protocol and HTTPS is hypertext transfer protocol with secure. HTTP is not secure and it is unreliable. HTTPS is secure and reliable. HTTP URLs begins with this and HTTPS URLs begin with this. HTTP uses port 80 by default, but HTTPS uses port 443 by default. HTTP is subject to man in middle and eves dropping attacks. HTTPS is designed to withstand such attack and is considered secure against such attacks. Now try this. What is HTTP protocol and how it works? Why HTTP is not secure? How HTTPS affects website performance?